Evantech here and in this video I will show you how to get the test override module. Now this item is tied directly to the story of Subnautica Below Zero so in order to get the blueprints for it you will have to trigger some of the story elements. Once you spend enough time on 4546B, you will get the notification for the Delta Station Dock and this is where we need to go to trigger the first story event. Before I go on to Delta Island, I would like you to know that I will try to cut out any of the elements that I believe are too much of a spoiler for the story. Reaching the area of the Delta Station is not as easy as it might seem. Straight in from the dock, you will enter this tunnel. And once inside the tunnel, you will turn right and then left where you will see these stairs. And once you reach the top of the stairs, you will turn right. Now what you want to do is follow this path upwards and go past this first tunnel. Right above it, you will find a second tunnel, which is the one you want to enter. Once you enter this tunnel, you will want to keep right and find the path that leads outside. And this is where you will initiate the first cutscene that leads to the discovery of the test override module blueprints. Maybe you didn't notice yet, but I did cut out most of this cutscene. And once this cutscene is over, the PDA will attempt to track this Brownswood pilot's location and mark its last known the coordinates. Has been as far as my technology will allow. So what we need to do next Here is find where the pilot has gone. Now what we want to do is locate the pilot's current location and for this you will need to have an upgraded depth module for the sea truck and I recommend that you at least have a Mark II which will allow you to go to depths of 650 meters and this location is located around 500 meters deep. Once you reach this marker you will probably notice that it leads to nothing. There's nothing here, so what you need to do is go north from this location and to the north you will find an opening in the seafloor of this biome. So I think this part is the most confusing for all the players that play this game. This marker did not mark where you need to go. This only marked where is the general area you have to search for the pilot. So once you are here, you will search the area for the location of the pilot, but I know exactly where to go. Go into this tunnel system while maintaining a northbound direction. Once you are inside, now you will attempt to go as deep as possible and the path you will take will actually make you turn all the way to the west. I have skipped ahead because there was a whole interaction going on before I entered this area. Here we have the awesome prawn suit that the pilot had when we first met him. Well, so actually this sea base is located 400 meters deep. Once we have entered through the moon pole, we will want to open up this bulkhead where we will initialize the second cutscene. In the middle of this room, there is this table which has the test override module. Once you scan this in, you will get the blueprints. <laughs> we are not done yet actually. Before you get a test override module, you will need the parallel processing unit. And to do that, you will have to explore the Mercury 2 shipwrecks. So for that, you will also need to bring a laser cutter with you. And if you need a more detailed video on how to get the parallel processing units and how to get to these locations, make sure to check out the video that's on top of your screen right now. And you will also need a laser cutter, so if you don't have the blueprints yet, there's a video on my channel just on that subject. 
So check it out, the link is on top of your screen right now. So one of these shipwrecks contains two fragments, so if you go up, you will find the other one not far from the first one. You will only need 3 fragments to get the blueprints, but there are actually 4 fragments on this planet. Alright, so now that we have the parallel processing unit blueprints and the test override module blueprints, we can make one. Just make sure to gather all the materials required. The processing unit needs gold, silver and table coral sample. And the test override module needs a parallel processing unit, titanium, lead, and copper wire. Now let's go back to the island and enter the Delta Station outpost where you will find the radio tower. Keep in mind that while you are doing the task of disabling the radio tower, your heat is going to go down unless you have a cold suit with you. Okay, now that we are at the radio tower, we are going to enter through here. And let's climb this ladder to get to the service module. On the back of this platform, you will find the service module which needs a test override module to disable the tower itself. Okay, so this is it. Now that we are plugged in with the service module, we are going to go back to the terminal where we will enable the test mode. Thank you for watching till the end. Remember to subscribe to my channel for more content like this. And if you want, you can join my Discord. The link is in the description down below. It's been a pleasure. So this is Evantech signing off and I'll see you below zero.